Walking along Western Boulevard and crossing the busy street is something one Jacksonville resident says she does often. Today I actually went and then went to go get some Tony's pizza. And what does she see? And I see a lot of like cars like going past the bus and like running red lights and even if they had the stop sign now I'm like, uh oh. On July 18th, Jacksonville police say a 17 year old girl was killed crossing Highway 53 on her way home from work when she was hit by a truck. This is something police say happens often. This year, uh, we've had six fatal collisions. Uh, three of them have been pedestrians, um, all at nighttime. That's why police want to make sure pedestrians walking on Western Boulevard are staying safe. When you're approaching the intersections, you know, you want to scan the intersection because those are the most dangerous areas. Um, with people turning out in front of you, or excuse me, pulling out in front of you, uh, pedestrian traffic trying to cross the at intersections. To ensure their safety, one footstep at a time. Uh, the city and the state has invested a lot of money into um, changing crosswalks over to signalized crosswalks um, and also improved the lighting in the city of Jacksonville. Lieutenant Williams also wants to remind people to not be distracted by the radio or their phone while behind the wheel and to keep their eyes on the road. He also wants to remind pedestrians to wear reflective clothing or light while at night, while walking at night. Live in Jacksonville, Olivia Doles, WITN News.